The love of God will look beyond your fault to see your need because love is not blind. There is this hit reality dating show on Netflix called Love is Blind, where they take a group of people separating the men from the women. And then one by one, they talk to each other in what they call pods to see if they can make enough of a connection, see if they can create enough chemistry to fall in love and get married after only talking to each other over the course of just a few weeks. But the big catch is that they can't see each other in these pods, which is the whole point of the show, to see if love is really blind. And then after the guy proposes, they are finally allowed to see each other for the first time and be together for a few more weeks before deciding whether or not to get married right there at the altar with all the added pressure of all their friends and family watching right there in the heat of the moment. The moment they decide whether or not love is truly blind. Well, after watching the show for a few seasons now, it kind of seems like a lot of the couples don't actually end up getting married or even liking each other after they see each other. And it's because true love, real love, is not blind. Why? Because God is love. The disciple John says in his first letter in 1 John 4, 7 to 11, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. And John continues on by saying in verse 16, And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. Yeah, John had a lot to say about love in the New Testament. After all, this is the same John who wrote the famous John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So yes, John had a lot to say in both his gospel account and his letters about love and its connection to God and the fact that God himself is love itself. And that kind of love, real love, true love, the love of God is not blind because God is not blind. Now, when people say that love is blind, what they're really trying to say is that love doesn't rely on, doesn't depend on, doesn't hinge on how someone looks alone in order for that love to be extended to that person, which is not a bad concept because if someone only loves you for how you look, most people would say that that kind of love is superficial or honestly not love, but lust. And most people would say, that that kind of love would feel like a shallow love because as the saying goes, beauty is only skin deep. So it just wouldn't feel like or actually be real love because a merely physical-based surface kind of love would be very fickle, fleeting, and not be very long-lasting because youthful beauty has a tendency to fade over time with age. So basically, the moment you stop looking like they want, you'll stop being what they want, which I think most people, most of us would get and understand that that's not real love. So in that basic sense, sure, 
God's love really has nothing to do with how you look. Like God told Samuel in 1 Samuel 16, 7, the Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. So in that sense of physical appearance, that's not what God is looking for in those he chooses. But that does not mean that love is blind. No, actually, it's quite the opposite. Because our outward appearance can hide a lot and cover up a lot because looks can be deceiving. But God's love runs so much deeper than that. This is how special the love of God is. God sees through and sees past all of our exterior smoke and mirrors that we use to fool others. And he sees you. I mean the real you. I mean all of you. I'm talking about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, you know all that stuff you put on a happy face to try and hide from everybody else. All that stuff no one else knows about you, but you. I mean like all your mess, like your messiest mess. Oh, come on now. You know how you can be. Well, you may think that no one else knows, but someone else knows. God knows all that. God sees all that. And guess what? He still wants you. He still chooses you. He still loves you, even after seeing you, all of you. Oh, it's real easy to love someone when you haven't seen the real them just yet. Like when people first start dating and everything just seems all perfect because both people are putting their best foot forward and both people are on their best behavior. But the real reason everything seems so perfect is because you haven't seen the real them yet. You've really only met their representative. But that might change once you see who they really are. But to see it all up front and still love, that's amazing love. That's unconditional love. That's God's love. And that love is not blind because God is not blind. He sees you because he sees everything. He's all knowing because he's all seeing. Proverbs 5 21 says, for a man's ways are before the eyes of the Lord and he ponders all his paths. Psalm 33 13 to 15, from heaven the Lord looks down and sees all mankind. From his dwelling place, he watches all who live on the earth. He who forms the hearts of all, who considers everything they do. So it sounds nice to say that love is blind, but that's really just a man-made saying, and at the end of the day is actually just worldly wisdom. But it's biblical and way more beautiful to say love sees but forgives. Love sees, but has mercy. Love sees, but has compassion. Love sees, but still cares. Love sees, but still draws closer. Love sees, but never looks away, never walks away, never goes away. Love sees, but still stays. It sees, but still loves, still loves you anyway, anyhow. That's the real love of God, and real love is not blind. The Apostle Peter says in 1 Peter 4, 8, Above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. Notice how Peter doesn't say that love doesn't see a multitude of sin, or he doesn't say that love is blind to a multitude of sin, but he says love covers it. That means that love sees it, but love doesn't count it against you. Meaning, love deletes it, love redacts it, love erases it, love blots it out completely. As Paul says in 1 Corinthians 13, 5, love keeps no record of wrongs. Now, how beautiful 
is that. That's real love. That's God's love. That's why one of my favorite songs ever is that song that says, Amazing grace shall always be my song of praise. For it was grace that bought my liberty. I do not know just why he came to love me so. He looked beyond my fault and saw my need. I shall forever lift mine eyes to Calvary to view the cross where Jesus died for me. How marvelous the grace that caught my falling soul. He looked beyond my fault and saw my need. Love is not blind. Paul says in Romans 5, 8, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Ephesians 2, 4 to 5. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. God saw you and God still loved you while you were still dirty, while you were still messy, while you were still you, because God just loves you and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Paul asked the question in Romans 8, 35, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? But then he profoundly answers his own question in verses 38 to 39. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. And so, like the song says, I don't know what you've been taught, don't know what you've been told, all I know is my God will never let go of you. For no matter what you've done, you can't erase his love. Nothing can change it. You're not separated no matter where you run. He's always holding on. You're still a daughter and you're still a son. No matter what. Because love is not blind.